Shields up, Iron Breakers. How's everybody doing? I'm not doing too hot. I'm going to just like throw that out there as I struggle to put my microphone in a con comfortable position. I'm not doing too hot. And it's because I'm sick. I'm real sick. That's why also today's stream was so late. Because I was I'm just not feeling very good. But I still felt like hanging out with you guys for a bit. And, um, you know, playing some games. Just playing some games. You guys know I finished this yesterday. Uh, the single player content that is on Twitch. Which, let's be honest. Absolver single player content isn't really that much. But, ultimately, that's not the point either. I think Absolver is more about the PvP content than necessarily just the single player content. And that's what I wanted to engage with a little bit more today. That is after I show you guys a couple of new tricks. Honey lemon tea. That's what I'm that's what I'm reduced to. Reduced to honey lemon tree. As you guys can see. All the things are shut down, all the lights are off, because we destroyed everything. And once you destroy everything, you're basically sent back into the world to do whatever the hell you want. So, I would like to show you guys something that I thought was kind of weird. Uh, and that is that, after you finish the game, this is not a spoiler, you gain access to, I mean, for starters, we gain access to the stagger style. This is not after we finish the game, but this was during our session on Twitch yesterday. We gain access to the Stagger Style. Stagger Style uh, is Drunken Master, basically. If you've ever seen Drunken Master, that, that's what Stagger Style is. But the other interesting thing is that it unlocked something, which is this. The Bare Hands deck. Well, not the Bare Hands deck, but like this blues, this blue one specifically, which is specifically for Stagger. Or so I believe. Because all of the moves in this deck, as you guys will see here, are all like Drunken Master looking moves. Like you guys can see that this is... Uh, uh, and then this. And you can't change it. You can't change anything. So, this is like a deck that you unlock specifically uh, after you finish the game. So it's like you finish the game and now you get to do Drunken Boxing. And this was the deck that the very first person I fought in PvP, this was the deck they were using. It was very frustrating to fight against. This is not the deck that I'm going to be using in PvP because I'm not the biggest fan. I mean, I like... Here's the thing. You guys, you guys know me. You guys know that I'm a little bit of a fan of underdog mechanics and just like not going for the most powerful thing ever a lot of the times. And uh, when I noticed that, it's like, you just finish the game and you get this, and it's really, really powerful. I was like, I don't know, it doesn't make me want to use it all that much. I still wanted to show you guys. So, here's Stagger Style. Stagger Style, whenever you use the special ability, you do this little dodge with a push. And now, if I was to actually start attacking, we got all the moves from Stagger Style. Whoa. 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 Oh, nice. Wow, look at this NPC. <laughs> and it's raising the stagger style thing, which I'm not exactly sure what that's going to unlock. I do like some of the kicks that the character is doing, but unfortunately those aren't unlocked, so I can't, like, use those in a regular deck. <clears throat> Sorry about the sniffles, you guys. I, like I said, I'm sick. I have a cold and I'm going to be struggling with that for a bit. But, like I mentioned, you do unlock this after you finish the game so you can kind of like play around with it if that's your thing. Is that a player? <coughs> Just three NPCs. I actually do want to test out this shield thing because I haven't tested that out yet. As you can see, Drunken Master style, pretty damn powerful. Oh, hi there. Desk toy. 
Let's fight. While you're here, we should engage in glorious combat. Where'd he go? Did he just leave? I thought we were going to engage in glorious combat and dude just left. Either way, I want to switch back to my old style because I'm still getting acquainted with my actual style, so... We've been using the cult method this whole time and that is probably what I will be using. You can also use that move set with the cult method if you want to, but... This will be the style that I will be using in the duels. And speaking of which, let's actually get to some duels because I want to raise my ranking. I'm curious to possibly see some of the boss fights once you level up in ranking. Because I'm pretty sure those are going to be considerably harder. But it takes a lot to, to level up, as it turns out. You're going to have to do a lot of duels. So we're going to be doing some of those. Just having some good old fun times. What's the player? This looks like a player. Fight me. Fight me. There you go. What are you doing, dude? Come on, let's fight. Looks just like me. That ain't right. Ooh, the latency. And instantly attacked by another player. Okay. What the hell? I was like stuck. Actually, I am stuck. There's something going on with my character. It's glitched. I can't do anything. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I, I literally couldn't do anything. My character just like glitched itself out. Oh, well, let's go. I still can't attack. Well, time to restart. Surprised we've ran into a lot of glitches in here. Ran into a lot of glitches in Absolver, particularly latency stuff, it seems like. Latency. I think is currently one of Absolver's biggest problems, particularly because, like, since it's a game which its end game is so, I would almost say heavily focused on PvP. Because I mean, I kind of that's the feeling I get. Uh, it's like dedicated servers is pretty much a must. So yeah. Although I think I haven't experienced as much latency on these one-on-one -on -one fights. So those might have dedicated servers, but like regular encounters, I highly doubt those do. Cannon Behannon. Oh, nice. Oh, you lucky bastard. My turn. Illusion Twist Kick. Good, I'm pretty sure I wanted to get that, because I like kicks. Kicks are fun. 
I should see if I can put that somewhere in my deck. Ooh, nice. Nice little drop kick. Wow. We got beaten. Got beaten hardcore. And he's got full health now. So pretty much he reset. He resetted the scores there. Why couldn't I block that? Nope. Okay. Where are you? I'm gonna wait around this time. I'm gonna go in swinging. Fucking hell! Come on. Oh, did he kill me with chip damage? That was impressive. So how long is the PvE part of Absolver? I don't know. Four to six hours. Gotta say though, the shield feels friggin' useless. Bazoosh! And also, I don't know, I can I can never submit my school experience. Nice, we're level 4. I believe we need level 10. I do want to exit because I didn't like the shield at all in PvP, so I'm going to replace that. <laughs> that was a pretty good duel, though. The guy had some pretty janky combos. Uh, let's get... And by janky combos, I mean completely normal combos, but he was very good at applying them. So we want to go to equipment and swap the stone that we currently have equipped. The shield, not doing it for us. I probably want gravity. I like the idea of gravity. Exhaust is also good, but... <clears throat> Gravity's better, I think. Either way, we'll use that. Let's queue again.
then again, those four to six hours depend on um, depend on how proficient you are at finding your targets. Because I spent a lot of time looking for targets. See, I don't like this thing where it cues you up against the same person twice in a row. And that's the second time that's happened to me today. Like, the reason I exited was clear. Well, I wanted to swap skills, but also I want to fight against other players. I lost this one. I'm fracking up too much. <laughs> bye bye. Fucking hell, I'm dead. <laughs> oh man. What up, Grand Alfonso? Good luck with that. Freaking shockwave of his, a pain in the ass. I think that thing is a little bit too spammable. Like, I have that same spell. I just never realized how spammable it was. Like, look at this, just spams it. goes again. Damn it. Oh. Ah, so frustrating. He was able to reset.
Yeah, I'm enjoying Absolver. Dude, it's always the same combo. Watch. One. He goes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, fine. You want to reset? Let's reset. Dude, always the same fracking combo. There we go. Oh, Shockwave takes you out of healing. That's what you get. Whew. Really don't want to fight that guy. <laughs> I'd rather fight somebody else. <laughs> Let's hope the game puts me with somebody else. <clears throat> I have that Absolver cloak as well, but I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't think it looks that good. And I'm going mostly for fashion. Fashion Solver. More so than necessarily stat solver. The Sarko entered the trial. Oh, not a staircase fight. Dude, this is the worst. I gotta be honest, I kind of feel like Cult is probably one of the weakest aspects to start with. There we go with the Shockwave stuff again. I'm never going to be able to get two strong hits on him. Damn. Yeah, I, I do feel that the call one, the call thing is, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Because again, this is mostly just from having played very little. But the feeling I get is that I don't think I've... I might have seen maybe one or two players using it. I really don't like this arena though. This arena is not fun. Oof. Ah. This is why this arena fucking sucks. That thing right there. Praise the sun. 
probably gonna lose this one. It's gonna be the first one that we lose on stream today. Not doing too shabby. Oh, let's go. Catching on a little bit to his, um, a little bit to his fighting style. No! <laughs> nice. This thing might as well not even be there, the whole submit thing. It's just flat out not working right now. <clears throat> hey, I'm game for trying one more time against this guy. Whatever. Also, I need some water. I need to keep my throat... Pretty much. Oh, no, no, not here, though. Uh, I was hoping they would change the scenery. I fracking hate this place. This fracking sucks. <sighs> I was so dumb. So dumb. This arena is just stupid. No, I'm not going there. Fuck you. Come fight here. Fuck that noise. Uh uh. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not going there. Fool me once. Dude. <laughs> I'm not even putting up a fight right now. I'm telling you guys, the, the more, I mean, it could be because I haven't gotten to try the other, the other styles, but the more I fight using this style, the more I feel that I'm at a disadvantage.
damn it. Yeah, I'm done with this. Done with this scenario right here. See ya. That scenario friggin' sucks. I could use probably a couple of swaps on my deck. The problem if if I is if I start messing around my deck right now. Probably gonna be be a pain. Uh let's do more strength, more vitality. I still don't know how to unlock the other two, because I know that you can unlock the other two. The other thing is I also don't know how you can respec, because you gotta be able to respec if you can unlock everything. Otherwise it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now the other thing I want to swap is this, we gotta get Shockwave. This Shockwave is just way too powerful not to use right now. Now let's go to practice, let me just take a quick look at the deck. Like, this is good, but it's too slow. This is also too slow. And that's the problem. I'm trying to use as many attacks that actually deal damage. I'm trying to go for a stronger playstyle. But... The game seems to heavily favor dexterity. Which is weird for me. I mean, it's not weird. Always remember, though, that I'm trying to overanalyze uh, every combat that I get into. To try and see where I'm going wrong. If they're, you know, I'm probably doing some stuff wrong. It's not just like, oh, this thing is more powerful than this other thing. I'm just doing my observations that, like, the whole thing where I, where I do the cult thing. And the other guy, for instance, was able to quite simply just go around me. Like, I'm, I'm not sure if that was stagger style. I don't think that was stagger. I think that was something else. That's probably Windfall style. Raidens, I have Drunken style. I just don't use it because my stats don't really favor it that much. But I do have it. Did I break the game? I think we might have broken the game. Yeah, I don't think it's being able to connect to the other player that we're supposed to be fighting. It never takes this long to load. Now the question is, what do I do now? <laughs> I'm gonna just hard close it. Sinking cloud saves. White Knight Jr., is there a way to make a boxer deck? Yes. You can have a deck that is just punches. <laughs> that is completely up to the player. I really wanted to see if I could at least get the combat trials to like level 10, because at that point, you can start challenging more things in the game. So this is just like a rite of passage, though, the 1v1 duels. Dakin! Oh, I have that helmet as well. Oh, is this guy cult style as well? Good. He's not cult style. I thought that maybe the 
idle animations would give hints as to where as to which style each person is using so since he had the same idle animation as mine Jesus. Damn it, he canceled me. This is not looking good for me. I mean, I have the advantage right now, but he's gonna come in swinging. Jesus! See what I mean about the dexterity ones? Because they're just faster. Because like the the hits that I need to be making, they're based on strength. So they they're based on, you know, actually dealing damage. Whereas the the this guy's hits is mostly just like speed. See, look at this. Fast, fast, fast. I can get the same hits, but it's like, it's not going to benefit my fighting style as much. Jesus, the spamage. Fuck you and your spam. <laughs> it's very hard to play this style. It's just, I'm also looking for people that have a more similar style to mine so that I can understand what they're doing with it. <clears throat> Maddie on tour, is this worth getting if you like martial arts? And if you like the gameplay you're watching? Yes, just bear in mind, it's more about the PvP than necessarily uh, PvE. There's a, a decent amount of PvE still to do. I would say around four hours for your first time. But there's also... 
PvE that will happen after we do some combat trials, so... Yeah. <laughs> Let's see who we get next. But it's like most of the more successful uh, fighters that I've seen, uh, their decks is mostly like that. It's like a deck that is based around spamming fast attacks so that you can never recover. And it's kind of frustrating because like if that's going to be what eventually the meta of Absolver turns into, I think it's going to get stale. And I was really hoping that potentially you could also do well with stronger attacks. This guy's also finished the game, because he's got an, an Absolver Cloak. Okay, this guy is very good at keeping his distance. See, this is something that I should study. Like, notice how he knows exactly which distance to keep to stay away from my attacks. And then he instantly dodges away. See, this is something that I like to see. Because, like, his attacks aren't just that usual spam. He's coming in, doing his damage, and bailing out. But again, he's not using my style. Nice. That was very nice. This is bait. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Did I win? How does that work? Oh shit. <laughs> I did everything perfect and then I followed him through like an idiot.
God damn. Is there grappling in this game? None that I've seen so far. I don't think so. Jesus, level 56. Well, that explains a lot. I'm game for fighting him again, though. Because at least it's a nice change of pace from the usual fast spammers. I think I threw him off his game when I threw him into the cliff. I don't think he was expecting that. Because his second bout was a little bit all over the place, whereas most of his other bouts were a lot more controlled. Broke my guard. That was too slow. Doesn't even have music right now. This is the serious business. so close <sighs> specs please if you know uh i don't know dude in terms of processor i don't even know my processor it's been so long but it's a really good processor let's just put it like that it's an intel i7 i think 50 i don't know it's it's one of the five series or something 5000 series but it's really good um gpu is uh 970 which is garbage and then i have an ssd um, an SSD where the game's installed, and a 32 gigs of RAM because I do a lot of video editing. Helps. This is garbage, I'm dead. <clears throat> it's PC. Well, pretty much lost this one. I gotta change my style. Try this out, but with...
Yeah, I'm done. It's over. Didn't even put up a fight there. I want to try stagger style with the moves that I have. Just because the more I play with my style, the more I, uh, I don't know, I get tired of it. Let's try this. We're not going to go full stagger deck, but I want to try the stagger style with my deck. <laughs> so again, guys, if you guys are enjoying this uh, live stream, always remember hitting that like button helps out a lot. And if you're new here, you should also subscribe so that you're always notified. There's new stream and things. Streams and things. Corpish. In my opinion, this works better. Poor guy. He was not prepared. <clears throat> Join the Dex Fag meta or die. Nope. Oh, thank you. Oh, poor guy. He's level six. Oh, he wants a rematch? It's just far, far be it for me. The spam was real right there. But still, it's not a fast attack spam. If he hits me with that kick of his, 
I actually want to learn that kick. I don't. I still haven't learned that kick. Talk about impact. You ever seen a sword? They hurt like a motherfucker. Check it. He wants to go again. It's just not fair. Reloaded 2111. Is there poison in this game? No. There are attacks that will allow you to take an attack while they're happening. That's as close as you're going to get to poise. I wonder if he gets additional experience for constantly fighting someone who's higher level. <clears throat> level 7? We're actually pretty close to level 10. But dueling in this game is fun, even though, again, like I said, I'm not the most experienced person. Um, but I am enjoying Stagger Style more. Please don't crash on me again. Pretty please. Pretty please. I do think it crashed. I think the slow clap still has a lot of work to do on these servers, man. And at least let me like Alt F4 out of the game so that I don't have to do this. It's like pretty much whenever the thing crashes, this is the only thing you can do. You gotta, you gotta get back to it. Slow clap, please. Please fix the server so it don't break no more. Hit the slow clap and don't you break server no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the slow clap. Don't break server no more. Very curious to see what unlocks once we actually get to level 10. Not sure if we're going to get to level 10 in this stream, though. Sips water like a thirsty boss. No, I, I have to because, like, because of the fact that I'm sick, I have a cold. If I don't drink water... Pretty soon I'm going to start coughing all over the place. Oh, you actually gain stamina when you do that as well, huh? Nice. See, this is the style that I think is the more powerful one. The style this guy is using, whatever does those sudden stops, 
Because it really leaves people open up for getting wrecked. Jesus! But ultimately, this is one of those decks that I told you guys I don't like fighting. Like, notice, it's the Spammeram. There's like maybe one or two heavy attacks in there. Everything else is just spam fest. Spam, spam, spam. How does this compare to Dark Souls PvP? I would say... I don't know. I actually don't know, because I've never been a huge fan of doing PvP in Souls, as you guys are aware. And I think it's too soon to make those comparisons, because, like, right now, the meta is just, like, straight-up decks. Like this guy right here is just straight-up decks. It's just not particularly fun to fight against decks like this. Can I swap my stuff? Because no. it's just like spam, spam, spam. See, the, the guy, uh, the sick guy that I was fighting against, that was way more satisfying than fighting against that dude. Because it was, it was a mental combat. You know, it's like dodge, the, the whole thing of uh, duck and weave and going back and forth into and out of combat. Uh, and also, I've, I've never done PvP in Neo. I've heard Neo PvP is garbage. I don't really know. Like, comparing it to Souls, like I said, I think it's too soon. Right now, it feels pretty good overall. It's just one of those things I still need to adapt to the faster playstyles. Sheesh. I'm gonna have to swap my deck, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Looks kind of balanced, is this the case? Uh, right now I would say that it highly favors faster playstyles. Jesus Christ. <laughs> level 50. Come on. I guess I should I should level up some more. 
Because I'm getting to the point where pretty much everybody I find is higher level and they're kicking my ass. So we just need to also get better stats. And at the same time, I also need to go get like different attacks and stuff like that. Because I still haven't gotten all of the attacks that I could have. That's the thing though. I, I kind of gotten to a point in Absolver. Like last night when I finished the game, I was like, so I guess that now I'm supposed to go up against NPCs and farm the moves that I don't have so that I can actually build the deck that I would want with faster attacks, slower attacks, charge attacks. Because there's a ton of those things that I still don't have. Like, see that kick, for instance. I want to learn that kick. <laughs> Dwarf Fu is not fast. Get defensive, is this your character with Absorb? Yes, it's the only character I've created so far, although I am using a different style, but I should... I should swap to Absorb right now to learn moves faster. It's just, I gotta be honest, the cult method in PvP is not done right by me. I don't know, it just feels weaker. Could be just my perception, though. I just want to make sure that I get that clear enough. Because then people are going to say, Oh, Rurik, I'm just whining, 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 whining. I'm not whining, it's just my perception of it. Is it feels weaker. But see, this is what you're supposed to be doing after the end game. You just kind of like try to get the rest of the moves that you haven't gotten yet. That you can do the best deck you could possibly ever want. What the hell? I don't know what this NPC is thinking right now. Okay. It moves. He was being annoying. He's just like, I don't want to leave the edge of this thing, so I'm going to stay here forever. And I gave him what he wanted. He wanted to stay there so bad. I was like, hey, bro, you want to stay there? Just stay there. Forever and ever. Whoa. You got anything I haven't learned yet? I really want to learn that kick. Doesn't seem like I can block it with that. So I just have to basically sit here and block everything she throws at me. Learned a little bit more of the kick though. But yeah, that's currently my uh, my end game with Absolver is uh, learning a couple more moves, changing up my deck. But I do not want to do like a a spam fast attack deck because I don't think that's fun. So I actually want to get to a deck where I can do more things like 
like this, for instance. Fortunately, right now, I only know this one attack that does that. Tsutanko. Lao Tzu, Tsutanko. Oh, it's a player. Meditating player. <clears throat> Can't attack meditating players. I would also like to encounter players like in the open world and just attack them for some good old-fashioned open world PvP, but that is way more unbalanced than regular one because there's latency and shit. I have gotten a lot better at the game. It's, it's, it's a lot about the timing as well. It's like you'll see some of those spamming players and you don't even see their model go golden, which is very disappointing. Because you can see that they're just like spamming fast attacks and not even taking the time to do it proper. Whereas if you saw the player like that uh, sick player that we played against earlier, whenever he was attacking me, it's like almost every attack or every other attack, his body would glow golden. That was because he was landing the timings on the attacks as well, which is important. Fight me. That's it. I'm evening the odds a little bit. Although it doesn't matter much. Because he has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> Cause like when I started fighting him, he had no health. And then I noticed that it's just like, it wouldn't have mattered. For a second, I thought I saw an icon in here. Oh, it's probably the resurrect icon. Mayalua. <laughs> the name of that move, the Mayalua. That is a half moon in Portuguese. Is that a player that was running through here? Let me just meditate real quick. Oh, there's a new NPC. Broski, what do you do? just tells you a bit about the lore. I was just wondering if, there, if there was going to be an NPC that would actually do stuff for you.
This NPC actually has a lot of moves I don't know yet. A lot from you, I have learned. Whoa! See ya! All about knowing where you're standing in here. Oh, round or no? Dude could do roundhouse kicks. Got Leroy. I could have actually used those roundhouse kicks that dude was doing. Shoot! <laughs> Gonna lose everything if I die now. <laughs> Bitch, die! Whew. That was close. That was pretty damn close. Uh, what you're describing happens to me sometimes reloaded. It's a YouTube glitch. Probably only happens on Firefox too. But anyway, you guys, that's going to be it for today. Like I told you, I am a little bit sick, so I'm going to be cutting it a little bit short. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. If you did, hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Thank you guys very much for hanging out, watching, all that good stuff. And I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully a little bit more recovered, because I feel like crap today, so sorry if this stream was a little bit subpar. I'll see you guys on the next one.